Hello everyone, I am Rishika Pasivan, volunteer of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Welcome to AFRS MCQ Times Part 23. This video consists of answers and explanations for the topic Forensic Science UGC Net MCQ Questions Part 4. Question 31. The beard hair has following shape. Option A. Circular. Option B. Elliptical. Option C. Triangular. Option D. Irregular. Answer is Option C. Triangular. Explanation. Different parts of the body are distinguished by their cross-sectional shape. Question 32. Flattened cuticular scales are found in the hair of Option A. Horse. Option B. Cow. Option C. Sheep. Option D. Human. Answer is Option D. Human. Explanation. The scale pattern of the cuticle in human hair is routinely imbricate. Animal hairs exhibit more variable scale patterns. Question 33. The study of the hair is known as Option A. Traumatology Option B. Trichology Option C. Thanatology Option D. Toxicology Answer is Option B. Trichology Explanation Trichology is the science of structure, function and disease of the human hair. Clinical trichology is the diagnosis and treatment of diseases and disorders of the human hair and scalp. Question 34 match the following. In fiber site we have cotton, pure silk, rayon, asbestos. In source site we have artificial, vegetable, mineral, animal. The codes are A. 2143 B. 3124 C. 2413 and D. 1243 Answer is option C. 2413 Cotton is matched with vegetable Pure silk is matched with animal Rayon is matched with artificial and asbestos is matched with mineral. Question 35. The refractive index of glass can be determined by Option A. Free flotation method Option B. Beckeline method Option C. Polarimeter Option D. None of the above Answer is Option B. Beckeline method Explanation The Beckeline test is a technique in optical mineralogy that helps determine the relative refractive index of two materials. It is done by lowering the stage of the petrographic microscope and observing which direction the light appears to move. Question 36. The matching of compression tool marks is based on Option A. Line matching Option B. Contour matching Option C. Depth matching Option D. None of the above Answer is Option B. Contour matching Explanation Contour matching is a process in which edge by edge pieces are fitted. It is a method of forensic analysis of tool marks. Question 37. The following substance can be used for casting of the tool marks. Option A. Plaster of Paris Option B. Wax Option C. Alumina Option D. Woods Metal Answer is Option D. Woods Metal Explanation The mold of tool mark can also be made by metal casting. The suitable metal for this purpose is known as Woods Metal. This is a metal of low melting point which is suitable for casting tool marks. Its composition by weight is bismuth 50%. Lead 25%, tin 12.5% and cadmium 12.5%. Question 38. The following is the oldest form of ink. Option A. Iron galotinate ink. Option B. Carbon ink. Option C. Negrosine ink. Option D. Logwood ink. Answer is Option B. Carbon ink. Explanation. In India, ink was made since 4th century BC. This ink called Masi was made from burnt bones, tar and pitch. Greeks and Romans made ink from soot, glue and water, so-called carbon inks. They don't damage the paper they reused on but are not resistant to moisture and can smudge. Question 39. In case of examination of paint spirolysis, gas chromatography is useful for characterization of Option A. Pigment Option B. Binder Option C. Lacquer Option D. None of the above Answer is Option B. Binder Explanation Binder component of paint is analyzed by pyrolysis gas chromatography. Pyrolysis gas chromatography mass spectrometry is a method of chemical analysis in which the sample is heated to decomposition to produce smaller molecules that are separated by gas chromatography and detected using mass spectrometry. Question 40. Blackening and tattooing of skin and clothing can be best demonstrated by Option A. Luminol spray Option B. Infrared photography Option C. Ultraviolet light Option D. Magnifying glass Answer is Option B. Infrared photography Explanation Infrared photography is used for demonstration of skin blackening and tattooing. 
In infrared photography, the film or image sensor used is sensitive to infrared light. The part of the spectrum used is referred to as near infrared to distinguish it from far infrared, which is the domain of thermal imaging. Wavelengths used for photography range from about 700 nanometer to about 900 nanometer. Thanks for watching our video and please like and share the video.